Alright, this is a quick video, just a quick repair video, rather. Um, well, hopefully it's quick. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a HP Pavilion A6000 computer. When I got this thing, it was totally dead. Uh, I popped off the cover, and I took a look on the, you know, the motherboard, and I saw that it has a typical problem, which is bad capacitors. Anyways... I'm going to take my screwdriver here and show you what to look for. And I got the side of the computer off right now. So, let me just point in here without electrocuting myself. Let's see if I can get my camera in there. Yeah. Now there's a whole row, row of capacitors here next to the processors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven capacitors. If, well... And then there's one, two, three, four more, which are a different value. Get in there. Those there, and these here. But anyways, they'll go bad and uh, they'll swell up. They'll start leaking, they'll look black, they'll look all crusty looking on the tops of them. You know, these things here, the capacitors. Brand new ones are flat. Okay, okay, and I want to back up here a second. I did, I just finished replacing these capacitors, but uh, you know, they will be swollen at the top of them, dome curved, puffed out when they're bad. If even even one of them is bad, you might as well replace them all. So, uh, if your HP A6000 is dead or it beeps when it turns on or has a hard time starting up, you know takes you a good 5, 10, 15 minutes for it to kick in or, you know, turn on. More than likely that's the problem with the capacitors. I, mean, I can care, pretty much guarantee that's the problem. Uh, let me grab these right here. I got these from Mauser.com. M-O-U-S-E-R E-R Mauser.com and uh, they run about anywhere from like 30 cents, 35 cents a piece. Uh, you'll need to order, and what I, I always do when I order parts, I always order extra. You actually get a discount if you order more than like five or six or seven or whatever. I order, I order 25 at a time, so I uh, ordered 15. 1,000 microfarad, 16 volt, Panasonic aluminum electrolytic capacitors. Um, I think these ran about 25 cents a piece. I ordered 15 of these, like I said. Um, 1,000 UF microfarads, 16 volt. And then I ordered 25 of 1,800 UF microfarad. 6.3 volt Panasonic aluminum electrolytic capacitors. 25 of those and 15 of the other. You won't need 25, but it's always good to have them on hand. You know, but roughly, I think it came to like oh maybe 15 bucks because I ordered some other stuff too. But I'm guessing you know with all this this quantity here, it probably run you about 15 bucks. 12 15 bucks. Their shipping's about six dollars. Uh, you know, of course, you'll need a soldering iron, not a gun, soldering iron, and some solder. And well, working on motherboards isn't all that easy because it's all surface mount stuff. And one, you know, wrong move and you got a bad board. You know, so if you're not really handy with working on motherboards or uh, fixing electronics, you know, you might want to back away from it. But if you can fix this kind of stuff, you know, you think you're handy with a soldering iron, a solder, you have, you know, a steady hand, you can fix it. It really doesn't take a whole lot of time, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, you know, a soldering iron isn't the proper way to remove capacitors off a motherboard, but if that's all you got, you know, you can get into high-tech uh, desoldering equipment that uses hot air and, 
you know, vacuum suction and all that stuff, that costs hundreds of dollars. And, well, it's not worth it to spend that kind of money on that equipment if you don't fix stuff a lot. But, you know, if you have the equipment to fix the motherboard, surface mount stuff, hey, you know, more power to you. But, uh, you know, a cheap seven eight dollar uh, radio shack soldering iron you know 20 watt soldering iron 25 whatever 15 anywhere from 15 to 40 watts of work probably for a beginner I would use a I would actually use a higher wattage soldering iron just because it's easier to pull the parts out I think radio shacks I think it's a 40 watt is uh, I don't know, like ten bucks, but you know, look around. You don't have to buy it from Radio Shack, of course. There's other places that sell soldering irons. So, good brand to buy is Weller, W E L L E R. That's top of the line stuff. Well, not top top of the line, but fairly good brand. There's other brands, but uh, you know, you don't have to buy a Weller. You can buy a Radio Shack, you know, cheapo. Eight, ten bucks, whatever. But anyways, if your A HP A6000 is dead and you want to fix it or attempt to fix it, spend the twelve, fifteen bucks on the parts, and uh, yeah, you got your you have your computer back in business. But I'll just spin it around real quick. If that's the model of the computer you have, and it's dead, well, capacitors are the problem. Capacitors. Yep. All right. Good luck.